All right, so the purpose of our video today is go over a useful piece of software that we have in astronomy called Stellarium. So it's a program that you can run that allows you to see the night sky and see the day sky, I guess, as it's showing you right here, as it is outside right now. And it does it and it can project into the future, it can go into the past, so it works really well to allow us to see the night sky as it is in locations that we aren't specifically, or at times that we're not, right, in the future. And so the first thing we're going to go over is how to get Stellarium. So the easiest way, just go on Google. You're just going to do a Google search for Stellarium and then just click on this top link here at the Stellarium.org. Once you're there, you can just click on whatever download here corresponds to the computer you're running and you can download it just fine. And it should be simple, straightforward. If you have any issues, you can Google those, right? But so once you've got it downloaded, you'll open up to a screen that looks exactly like I've got here. And let me open it up and we'll show you a little bit more, but it'll come and it'll have down here this little bar. And you can look and see it's showing our date and our time, and it's showing me where I'm at. It says I'm in Cedar City. All right, so this would be the daylight sky that I'm seeing right now in Cedar City. But one cool thing is I can just fast forward if I wanted to, and I can see the night sky in Cedar City at a different time, different date maybe even if I wanted. And so the way you can do this is by on a Mac, you press Command, and then you click and drag. On a PC, it'll be con Control, Click, Drag. So it's the exact same concept. It allows you to go forward or go backward in time, however you want to work that, right? So it allows you to see the night sky so you could pick the stars that you'd want to observe. But the first issue we have is that I'm in Cedar City, telescope's located in Baker, Nevada. So the easiest way to change this is I'll come over here to my location window, click on this, and I can actually search for any place that I want in here. It has some presets, but you can also create your own. So I've created a Baker, Nevada location. And you can see as I click on it, it switches me over to there, but you probably won't have that as an option. So the easiest way to do that is this box down here. So it allows you to put in latitude, longitude, and elevation coordinates for a location. Then you can name it and save it to the list. So once it's saved to your list, you'll be able to search it up just like I have to go straight there. And once you're there, notice this is Baker, Nevada. This is tonight for me. And I'm actually seeing the stars in the sky that would be tonight's sky in Baker, Nevada. So basically where the telescope's located. And so, the oh, and the easiest way to get that those latitude and longitude coordinates for Baker, Nevada is once again, just to Google them. So I just Googled Nevada, I clicked on the top link and this came up and it gives me the latitude and longitude and I can put it right in. So that's not super hard to do. Just make sure you do that, add it, and make sure that when you're in Stellarium for observations, you're in Baker, Nevada. And so one thing I want to go over is that you can see the night sky, but you don't know what stars you're seeing, really, because you can't tell what the coordinates are. So the easiest way to fix that is you come down here, and you're going to click on the equatorial grid. So when I click that option, you'll notice that I'm actually seeing here the right ascension in my vertical and my declination in my horizontal. So what I can do is using my timing, I can see what times of the night sky are visible. So it looks like 22 hours night is actually upon us. Now as we keep going, we can see when the sun starts to rise. So it looks like if I wanna observe anything in the 11 hours, that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna to have to do 12 through 22 hours to actually observe anything in the night sky. Otherwise, I'll be looking in the day and I can't see anything in the daylight. So I won't be able to see these stars until about winter, right? So that's the way that you'll be able to look and see what sections of the night sky will be useful in the WDS catalog to find a double star to observe. And so one last thing I do wanna go over is notice the moon here. If your star is right behind the moon, it's not gonna be a very good observation. So it's important to know the date that you'll be making the observation just so you can check and see and make sure that the moon won't be causing you any issues that way. Um, one last thing is just to go over, if you have any wonders about this, there's a great guide that you can find on the internet, just Google Stellarium guide, it's a great PDF. But the easiest things to know is if you just click and move, you're moving around the sky. If you command, click, and then drag either way, you're changing your daytime and nighttime. The equatorial grid is down here, and you can change your location here. And that should be about all you need to navigate Stellarium to be able to know what locations of the sky work for you for your observations. Um, thanks for watching.